Hello and welcome back to Wireman's Whimsy. This is another Thoughtful Wishes uh, card idea. And on this one, I've brought in the Thoughtful Journey Designer Series paper, which is gorgeous. So lots of really, really rich, juicy colors on that paper. And you've got some with scenes like that that you could just put a greeting on. And then there's some beautiful backgrounds. So gorgeous, gorgeous paper to use. Put that off to the side. Um, so what I've done is I've got a fresh Freesia card base for this one. And then uh, the Thoughtful Journey um, paper cut to five and a quarter by four. And I used the this really gorgeous die to cut out the accent piece. And it's super, super subtle. Um, but I really like how it kind of flows with the paper and kind of looks like it's kind of coming out of the paper. So what I've done is this one I did with the adhesive backed paper to make it a sticker so it does stick down nicely, no glue showing or anything like that. And I use two of the stylish shapes dies. This is the Thinking of You Fondly stamp from the set, which I cut out with the smaller die. And then when I trimmed the paper up, I had these two pieces left over. And when I put this together and put it on, I thought, oh, that's kind of plain. So what I did was I cut these both at the same time. It's a slimmer piece. And I just cut them both at the same time um, with the larger of the stylish shapes banners so that I created this um, kind of matted uh, mat. So I'm just going to line this up, glue it down, just needs to come up just a little bit. So just, oh, of course now it's going to be difficult because I've stuck it down and just line it up. There we go. So there is that piece. And then I dimensionalized this on. Uh, yeah, paper has two sides. You may recognize that as the um, stamping that I did on the introduction video. So yes, I, <laughs> I reused the paper. Uh, but the nice thing about the Stampin' Up! paper is you cannot see through it. So you can use both sides. And I'm just going to line this up in the center here, like that. And then I'll just put that off to the side while I glue all of this down. Now it's just going to flat mount this. Isn't that pretty? Look at that on the other side. Oh. So let's just give that some adhesive. Pop this down like this. There we go. And then we are going to very carefully peel the backing off of this because there are lots of really, really small pieces on this and I don't want to tear the, the die. There we go, I'll tear the die cut out. So I'm just going to gently, gently, gently pull that off. And then of course there's always one piece that gets left behind. There we go. See, I've bent it a little bit there. Then I'm just going to place that down like so. There we go. So it's nice and stuck down. It does disappear a bit into the background, but I've got a trick for that. So we're now going to also dimensionalize this piece on like this. putting this down right in the middle here like this. And then we're getting out our Wink of Stella. And I'm going to Wink of Stella this whole piece. And I'm not too concerned about getting it on the background. I'm just kind of dragging the Wink of Stella over the die cut. And it just, 
just blings it up. I do love me some Winkastella. So just, it's just that easy. And when I did the adhesive backing for this, it comes in two inch strips. Um, it's a six inch piece. Um, but you can divide it into two inch strips. So I just put a two inch strip down the, the middle. So there are some edges that don't have any adhesive on, but for the most part, it's got adhesive. And then of course I jumped back into my in color shimmer gems and popped out. Oops, I put that in the wrong place. There we go. Popped out some of these so that I'm just tucking three of them in really close together. Like that. So there is our card. I really, really did want to use this, this large die cut. And I struggled with different ways to use it, different ways to present it. And I thought this just, it just adds that movement to this paper. So I thought that this was the perfect opportunity to use it. So thank you so much for watching and let's create together again soon.